Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a lovely day today. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my beauty empties. Usually I do it from the past month, but this has been about like, like two and a half, three months worth of empties. So let me tell you, there's a lot. So with that being said, I'm gonna keep this intro nice and short and sweet and let's just get into the video. So I'm gonna start off with hair care and these two products are pretty much a classic on my empties. I go through them like water. <laughs> They're pretty much in every empties video, if not every other empties video. And that is my Tresemme heat defense spray and my Frizzies hair serum. I just, I really like these two products. They work for me. My hair seems to love them. My hair loves this serum. Like my ends were really, really dry when I wasn't using this. And yeah, started using this again and my hair just has that little bit of extra shine back in it. Stops it getting frizzy, you know. So another two of these. I'm gonna just skip past because they're in literally every video. So then the next product is a makeup brush cleaner. So it's the Woolco makeup brush cleaner. I just thought I'd try it. I think it was something like, I wanna say like one pound, two pound. I can't quite remember. It was somewhere between there. And I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna try it because I really wanna get like a good makeup brush cleaner. But at the time I didn't really have the money because of like buying Christmas presents and stuff to go and get like, a more higher end makeup brush cleaner and yeah I just thought you know what I'll give this a go and I actually really like it I actually brought another one because it cleans my brushes really well it cleans them really quick as well it doesn't leave like a soapy residue on my brushes so long as I make sure I do get all the soap out obviously but I do really really like it and like I said I have brought another one and it lasted me a fair amount of time as well and obviously it's super affordable so might keep repurchasing that one you know <laughs> another really quick category to go through is perfumes so i only have one empty perfume today and it's a calvin klein perfume and it's called endless euphoria i've had this for literally years my nanny got me this ages ago i actually can't even remember how long i've had this but it just because it's so small it goes to the bottom of my perfume like well, my perfumes and I just never pick it up and I was like do you know what I really ought to use this <laughs> so I did I finished it I actually really like it it's got like it's kind of a sweet smell but it's a little bit musky too so it's like a nice in the middle because I'm not a big fan of like overly sweet smells or like overly musky smells I like something in the middle and this was actually quite nice I actually really enjoyed using it the only thing is obviously it was like a perfume that you just like dab on your wrist and on your neck and stuff I like to just spray my perfume that was the only thing but other than that I actually really enjoyed using it and I love the smell of it. So then next I'm gonna move on to like skincare and body care and this category is kind of big. So I'm gonna try and not ramble. Also, I am struggling <laughs> to breathe. Like I feel like I, I can't catch a full breath. So if I keep like taking big deep breaths and it's really annoying, I'm so sorry. I guess it's just a perk of being pregnant, I guess. So this is the only body care item I believe that I have. So it's the Ted Baker hand cream. I've actually been going through my hand cream so quick. I did actually empty a Soap and Glory hand cream as well, but I I don't know what happened to like the packaging. I usually keep a lot of my empties, but yeah, I'm not really sure what happened to that one. So I've emptied two hand creams. My hands at the minute, oh my God, they are so dry. I cannot keep them moisturized no matter what I do. So yeah, I'm going through hand creams like you wouldn't believe. I prefer the Soap and Glory one to this one. This one, it was a nice hand cream, but it was just like over perfumed. And yeah, I prefer like just like moisturizing hand creams rather than like having like loads of scents. I would sooner they didn't smell and like did wonders to my hands, you know? So the next thing I have to quickly talk about, I don't often use that much. It's the Skin Techniques Charcoal Nose Pore Strips. I used to use these all the time because the blackheads on my nose used to really, really bother me. Whereas now I kind of know that these are not like good for your skin. Like you're basically opening up your pores for them to just get refilled back in with all like the nastiness. So I was like, do you know what? 
I'm gonna use, I think I had like three left. I was like, I'm gonna use them. I literally used, I think like one every two weeks, I think. And yeah, I used them up. I'm not gonna lie, they're the most satisfying things in the world. I'm a bit of a freak. And I like to look at like all the little blackheads on the thing. I know, I'm weird, I can't help it. But yeah, I they're satisfying, but no, I wouldn't repurchase and I don't recommend them. Do not buy them, they're really not good. <laughs> for your skin. So the next stop, as always, I have a micellar water. This one's the Nivea Naturally Good Micellar Water with organic aloe vera in. I really liked this one. And this one seemed to last me ages, like longer than normal. Maybe that's because I wasn't really using like makeup for like a good few months, but I don't know. This just seemed to last me forever and it just kept going and going and going. I would 100% repurchase this, um, particular micellar water I just yeah I really enjoyed using it and it really helped at taking my makeup off I usually use micellar water to take like my mascara and any eye makeup off and usually my eyebrows too and then I use my cleansing balm to like you know do all the the heavy lifting on the makeup so then the next skincare product I have to talk about is more of like a serum -y type product so it's the figs and rouge clarity I think it's a serum yeah it's like a glow serum i i enjoyed using this it's um one of the like pep 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 <laughs> type things in the end i did have to like tip it out like i couldn't get any more out there is actually still some in the bottom but when i tip it it just doesn't come out so i'm calling it an empty i definitely like got a fair amount of use out of this it lasted me ages it's a glass bottle which i really like it's like very heavy and weighty it makes you feel quite bougie when you use it i'm pretty sure i got this out of a glossy box so i'm not actually sure how much these are worth but it feels nice and weighty it feels luxurious it was nice to use the only thing is like it leaves like a lovely glow on your skin but there's like little tiny like bits in it, like not beads, but it just feels like bits and they just don't go away either. Like, and then I would rub my moisturizer on over top and I would just feel like these little like bits rubbing around my face. It was the only thing I didn't like about it, but I did actually really enjoy using the serum. It's not something I think I would repurchase, but it was nice to use whilst I had it. The next thing I have to talk about, I'm so glad, is empty. It's the Nivea Nourishing Day Cream with natural almond oil in. This is for dry and sensitive skin, which is actually not even my skin type. I don't know why I brought this, but I hated using this product. It was so thick under my skin and didn't ever feel like it was actually soaking in. It just felt like it sat on top of my skin. I also couldn't use any SPF when I used this because no matter what I did, my moisturizer would pill up if I put it on top of my SPF. And then if I put my SPF on top of this, it would pill up. So, oh my God, it was a nightmare. So glad it's used up. Definitely won't be repurchasing it. I really don't like this product. But then again, it is not made for my skin type. So then the next two products I have to talk about are from the same brand and it was like my first time trying this kind of skincare. So first off, I have the Origins Gin Zing oil free energy boosting gel moisturizer and then i also have the origins ginseng into the glow brightening serum i loved these two products i got these for christmas last year i think my mom got me this gift set i'm pretty sure i can't remember it was last year but i actually have really enjoyed pretty much everything i've tried from this brand so i might have like a little look into the brands and um yeah i might actually start to use this skincare brand because i really really did enjoy it it's super moisturizing but really light on my skin which i love because my skin does get like quite dry and tight sometimes because I use like a lot of like um, like cleansing products, you know, to not strip my skin of all its oils, but you know, just deal with the oils. So it's really, really nice to go in with that really hydrating like moisturizer or serum. And these two were really, really nice. I would love to buy like the full sizes of these and yeah, try them out for a little bit longer. I just love these products, so I might repurchase them. So then the last few products that I have are all makeup products, and I actually have a lot this time. A lot of them will have been from my project pan, so if you've not seen that update, this will be a bit of a spoiler, but there was your warning, these are my empty makeup products. 
I feel so out of breath, it's actually driving me nuts. So the first product I have to talk about is the XX Revolution Hydra Fix Primer. I love this primer, definitely one that I would think about repurchasing. This isn't actually empty, there's still like a fair amount of products in the bottom. If you've seen my Project Pound video, then you'll already know this, but this actually ended up expiring on me. It kept breaking my skin out, so I just decluttered it. So it's not actually a full empty but obviously I can't use it so it is going in the bin but I loved this product and I will probably repurchase it if I work my way through some of my primers in that time because I actually love this primer it's very hydrating but it has like a little bit of a tacky finish and I just love that foundations apply lovely over the top of it I don't think I've had a foundation that hasn't applied nicely on top of this primer I just love it so next up, I have a setting spray. It's the BH Paradise Set Setting Spray. It's the hydrating setting spray. I loved this product. I loved using it. It just re-added in like life to my skin because I have to use quite a lot of powder products for my oily skin, which, you know, because sometimes it can just make your skin look a little bit like chalk-like sometimes, especially if I go too heavy-handed with... Um, you know like setting powder and stuff like that so this was just really nice to use especially on them days where I've gone too heavy-handed with the powder it just re-adds in like the skin like look <laughs> to your skin but obviously it also is helping to set your skin in place as well with your skin your makeup okay that was a bit of a weird sentence <laughs> it also helps to re-add in that like skin looking makeup I guess so it doesn't look like you know you've just slapped powder all over your face it's basically what I'm trying to say I can't think straight guys but yeah, I'm hoping you know what I mean. The next setting spray I have to talk about is the Pixie Glow Mist. And if you guys watched my Project Pan, you'll know I really don't get on with this product at all. It's way too oily for my skin. It just didn't work. My It didn't help with my makeup lasting any longer. It did make my skin look nice and dewy and, you know, fresh looking. But yeah, in terms of like longevity purposes, this is just not a setting spray I can use definitely not one I will repurchase it's just not for my skin type it doesn't work for me way too oily for my oily skin breaks my makeup up way too fast yeah I just didn't like this product at all I've gone through a lot of setting sprays in the past few months clearly the next setting spray I have to talk about is actually one of my new favorites it's the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray and I actually have a backup of this thank god because I would have been gutted I probably wouldn't have used this up if I didn't have a backup so I do have a backup of this thank god I love this setting spray it just makes my makeup last it just really sets my makeup in place but doesn't like keep it looking chalky or anything like that you know if i've gone like too heavy handed with powders and stuff this still adds like life back to my skin but it really helps with keeping my makeup in place not letting it move not letting it crease up i just really like this setting spray and it is probably one that i'm going to keep repurchasing i think this is the smaller bottle i would actually quite like to just get the bigger bottle because i clearly go through setting sprays quite quick <laughs> so yeah I love this product. Only three more products to talk about, guys. I'm trying to go through this kind of quick. I knew this video was going to be long. The next product I have to speak about is a concealer, and it's the Jeffree Star. I think it's called the Magic Touch Concealer. Is that what it's called? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It's really dark outside, and I'm hoping that the lighting isn't, like, dipping in and out. <laughs> Anyway, I just want to quickly say I don't support Jeffree Star, by the way. I um, used to buy a lot of his products, like, I don't know, it would have been a fair few years ago now. I probably should have thrown this concealer out ages ago, but I wanted to empty it. Um, it still smelt good whilst I was using it and stuff, like it didn't smell off or anything. But I don't buy from Jeffree Star anymore. I don't support him, don't support his brand, don't support what he's doing. But yeah, I have products from him that I'm just gonna use. I've already brought them, so I might as well use them. I just don't ever really use them on camera. This was in my project pan. I enjoyed using it. It's a shame because it's a good concealer, but yeah, not one that I'm gonna repurchase. 
Next up, I have a setting powder. So this is the BH Studio Pro setting powder. I actually really enjoyed using this powder. It was a pressed powder. It did end up smashing on me towards the end and then I kind of crushed it up and just used it as a loose powder. But I did really enjoy using it. It was really convenient because it obviously has the like compact mirror. So easy to take around with me and you know do touch-ups in the day. I did like it. I don't think I'd repurchase it, but it was a good powder and I'm glad that it's out of my collection. Okay guys, last product, we have made it. So this product I emptied really recently. Um, actually, I think I emptied this two days ago, actually. So it's the Essence Micro Precise Eyebrow Pencil. Mine is in the shade, do we have a shade? Dark Brown. I actually really like this brow pencil. It's probably one that I am gonna go and repurchase once I've worked my way through some of my other brow pencils. I really, really enjoyed using this. I was gutted when it emptied. I was like, no, like, because it, it's literally become my go-to. I love it. And yeah, I am gutted that it's empty. It lasted a good amount of time though to say these are so affordable. Like this couldn't have been any more than a fiver. I think it was like a pound or two pounds, three pounds at the most. I really, really, really enjoyed this. It was like the type of brow pencil where it's soft and creamy enough where it just goes on and you don't have to push really hard. But not too creamy where it just smudges everywhere and you can't get like, I don't know, brow strokes and stuff but also it lasts throughout the day. Like it doesn't just like smudge off your face and stuff like that. Like it's a really good brow pencil, especially for how affordable it is. And it is definitely one that I need to remember because once I've worked my way through some of my brow pencils, this one needs to be repurchased because it literally became a go-to and it was so easy to do my eyebrows in the morning. So there we go guys, that is all of my empty products. I might even give you guys like a pan over of what my bed looks like because there's so many products on my bed right now. It's crazy, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it wasn't too long. I did try to go through the products quite quickly and not ramble too much, but yeah, I had a lot of products to go through. Hopefully I'll just go back to now doing them once a month again, because I do enjoy doing it once a month. Plus it was hard to keep all of these empty products together like they didn't fit in my glossy box that I usually put them in they were literally overflowing everywhere so I was like I need to film this video but yeah that's enough rambling I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like if you did enjoy because that really does help me out don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss when I post new videos every Monday and Saturday and with all that being said I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one bye guys